So uploading images or files in Flask with FTP via a form is thankfully to FTP lib a pretty simple task to do. So right here I have a basic Flask project where I just have one route that is the front page and I have the index file with just a head section and a body. So inside our app file we want to go and import the FTP lib library and after we imported that we will go and make a new route in this case, I will call it upload image, and this will be the route of our post request so that we can call this method called upload image via the form on our index.html file that we're going to create in just a second. So what it's doing now, the upload image is just to return the index.html page. And of course, that, that is not the only thing we wanted to do. We want to say that if the request method is a post method, then we want to go and fetch from the request the file that we uploaded, which in our case is the image. So we want to save the image in the image variable. And I should say to you that you can just go and copy and paste all the code that I'm going to make in this video from my blog. I will link it in the description. So you really don't have to sit and type everything that I just show you. But the next thing we will do is to use the FTP library and we say dot FTP to create a new FTP object. And then the parameter you want to give it is the server that you have your FTP server or the server that you want to upload the image to. So now that we have our FTP object, we can go and insert some credentials to it and say, what do we want to upload? So to set the credentials, you say FTP and then dot login and you enter your username and your password. And then we want to specify the current working directory, which is the directory where we're going to insert the image on the server. So in my case, I will use the public underscore HTML. And inside that folder, I have a folder called images. And then when using the FTP library, we want to say store binary, and then you make a string where it says store and then concatenate it with the file name and as a second parameter this store binary also want to know what it should store on the server so in our case it is the image that it takes from our post request and this is basically the command that actually set the image into our server so the last thing you want to do is just to close the ftp connection again and then you can return anything that you want you could return a page where it says that the image is now uploaded or in this case i just return a string so this is just the string that will be displayed in the html so this is the method that you want to use to store the image inside your ftp server or web server or whatever place you want to store it just that it can handle a ftp request so next up let's go to the index.html file and then inside our body tag i just want to create this form where the action is our url which is the path to our method and then we say that we want to use the post method to send the request and because this is some file that we want to upload then we need to use this ink type and it needs to be set to this multipart slash form data because else it will not work and then inside our form we have our two input tags we have the tag where we want to upload the image and then we have the last input tag which is a submit button that is just displaying the upload text so first of all i want to open filezilla to see my own folder and of course inside our app file i will just change this to my server and also my username and my password. So you're not going to see this file anymore. But what I will do now is just to go and test if this works. So what I have done now is just to open our application where we have where we can select a file. And in this case, I just want to take one of the thumbnails to one of my videos. So I'll say open. And then before I hit upload, I want to go to FileZilla. And I have already logged in to my FileZilla here or to my FTP server. This is actually just a web server. So under my public underscore HTML, I have this images folder where if everything goes successfully, then it will upload to the folder. So let's go back and say upload. And you can see that we get the message where I say it uploaded successfully. So let's go back to FileZilla and I'll just refresh this. And now you can see that we got the image. So that is basically how you use FTP inside Flask in Python. Please leave a like on the video if you could use it and subscribe to the channel and else I'll just see you in the next video.